What's up guys, I'm Random Frank P, and this is gonna be an extremely highly requested video that is going to go over one thing in particular that I get comments on almost every single day, every single video. My IKEA desk setup. Let's check it out. All right, so we're switching now to more of a vlog style. Let's give you more of a personal look uh, for this video. We're gonna go over it all, talk about the products, where I got them, how much they are, pretty much how I constructed it and how it's been holding up for the past pretty much two years now since we set this up and we moved in. So first up is gonna be the actual desk itself and I've talked about it in numerous videos including all of my setup tours, but this is the IKEA Carlby. I got it from obviously IKEA. I got it locally because there is one about a half hour away from me. I do believe that you can buy it online. Shipping might be expensive though. See, but the thing here about the Carlby is it's not really a desktop per se, it's technically a countertop. So I have it in the walnut finish, which is definitely a nice look. And this is the 98 inch version. So it's extremely long, 98 inches. I believe the other variants are like 24 and 48 inches you can pick it up in, but this is the largest size. So I spent $219 on this, but the smaller ones are like 150 and under. And next up, before we talk about the desk overall, we'll break it down. And this by far is one of the most frequent questions I get about the desk overall. And that is, what are these? I do have these little legs keeping it up and they're actually meant to be like furniture legs. So for the bottom of like your couch or something, I got these on Amazon for like $12, I wanna say. So I'll have everything linked down below for you guys. And these are four inches in, uh, in height. They have two versions, the four inch one and a two inch version. But I went to the four to you know, give it some more elevation so I can put things underneath and stuff like that. And just for my height overall, it's more level with me when I'm sitting down at my desk. And then, which is you know the main thing here, holding all this up are the IKEA Alex drawers. It's only 80 bucks for one unit, so I picked up two in white, so 160 total. And you have five drawers here, and altogether four storage definitely gives me more than enough. In fact, I think two of these are still completely empty. Um, but for me, you know, it works out. It goes along with that whole white and wooden theme I was going for here. So I have these both set up, one on each side of the desk, obviously. And now what I did with these uh, furniture legs was actually, I drilled the legs into the actual Alex drawers and set them on the bottom of the countertop. And I did that for two reasons, really. One was because in case I ever wanted to swap out the desktop or get a new one or anything like that, I wouldn't have to re-drill these and drill them back in. And the second was, if I did have these legs on this and something ever happened where this moved and shifted, then the entire desktop would fall. So having this on here gives it you know, much more support so this can lay on top nicely. And since it's the 98 inch desktop version is so heavy, um, it has not once budged. I have never like hit this and had it shift or anything. So these four support feet here just gives it you know, that, that nice base for it to sit on top. And like I said, the main reason I wanted to do this was so it gives me more elevation off the ground. But now to wrap this up with the questions about the overall IKEA desk setup hack. Uh, first off is, do I treat this or anything? And the answer is not really. Around once a month, I do like to you know get some water and wipe it down because you know I'm in here a lot. It does tend to get dusty and stuff like that. But since this is the countertop, for the most part, it is treated. It is a pretty soft, uh, you know, like a, a shinier surface on here. So it's not like an actual real wood grain texture. Like my main desk is over here. As you can see, this has you know that much more lifelike wooden texture because this is real wood. This is just you know that countertop kind of surface. So I do like to wipe it down once a month with water just to keep it clean. But what I did do, and I picked it up for my main desk, was uh, I got this cabinet maker's wax. So every, you know, maybe two months, I'll wipe down my main desk with this. Just give it more shine. And I did use this once on my IKEA desk. Uh, yes, I'm currently working on this, so don't worry about that. But I did use this on here once. And it just gave it a little more of a gloss. So I don't really, you know, do much to treat this too often. Um, hasn't really had any stains or anything, which is good. So from having, like, you know, cups or glasses in here, from drinking, whatever. Um, no real stains to, to note about here. So it's definitely held up. And then next up, very, very common question I am always getting is, does your desk sag? And again, since it is 98 inches and it's only being held up at the two sides, 
you know, over time, gravity, it's natural. Yes, it's gonna tend to bend and warp a little bit in the middle, and that is kind of the case. It's gonna be very, very hard to see, since the uh, little vlog camera I have here doesn't have the widest of, uh, of lenses on this, but there is the slightest, slightest bit of sag in the middle. Is it alarming? Am I worried about it at all? No, definitely not. Um, I do have all my monitors mounted on my wall, so that's gonna help, you know, keep a lot of weight off of this. The only real weight on here is gonna be my peripherals and like my elbows and my arms when I'm gaming or something. But for the most part, there's not a lot of weight on this. So I wasn't worried about it, you know, really sagging or ever cracking in the middle. I'm not worried about that at all. But for those of you who are thinking of getting it in the 98 inch version like this, it wouldn't be a bad idea to get a support beam there down the middle because they're also like 10 to 20 bucks from Ikea. So it wouldn't hurt at all. I just didn't think it was necessary. But again, since it is 98 inches, the only support I have is on each of the sides. So over time, yes, this is gonna warp a little bit more. But like I said, I don't have a lot of weight on it at all. So it really doesn't, it's, I'm not worried about it breaking or cracking down the middle, like I said. And then lastly, taking everything into account here with the drawers, the stands, and the desktop, it does sit 33 inches off the ground from the bottom to the top of the desktop. So for me, I'm just at six foot. So when I'm sitting down in my Herman Miller M-Body chair, it's really just a great length for me. And the extra length that those furniture legs give me now underneath my desktop surface really helps just make everything more comfortable and ergonomic for when I am sitting down at my desk. So that's been my experience with it for the past two years. In total, like I said, the desktop was 220. Each of the Alex drawers were 80, so 280 plus well, 220 plus 160 is 380, I'm doing this right? Yeah, 380. And then, you know, an extra 10, 20 bucks, whatever, for additional accessories and the little, the little legs. So just around $300 total for this desk. Is that a lot of money? Yeah, but you figure what you're getting here, the total package at this size, that is a pretty good price for a really big and nice looking desk setup. If you want to get like a custom desk anywhere in a store, they're going to run you a lot of money, especially at this size, but with the size, the stores, and the overall look. I think it's a pretty damn good price. And that's why the IKEA like setup hack is just so popular. You can't get a desk that looks like this at a price at that or under. So for me, I've been loving it. All right, guys, so that'll wrap it up on my IKEA desk setup hacks. I hope you enjoyed. Went over everything from, you know, whether it's sagging, what the products are, where I picked them up, how much it all cost, all that stuff. So hope you guys appreciate and finally get to enjoy the video that I've been getting questions on for months and months and months and months every single day. So don't forget, check the links in the description down below for those products. Um, they'll be down there for you. So if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up to show your support. Feel free to follow me on Twitter at randomfrankp. And last, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Well, I'm Random Frank P. Hope you enjoyed. Have a good day.